Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to display dynamic MySQL data in bootstrap modal by using PHP programming with jQuery Ajax without page refresh. Nowadays bootstrap modals are become very popular and important user interface for any kind of websites and with modals we can dot lots of things. Mostly modals are used for add, update and delete data and even for display dynamic data on bootstrap modal. Here we will use jQuery Ajax call for display dynamic content on bootstrap modals. This is my testing database and in this we have one employee table with six column like id, name, address, gender, designation and age. In this we have store employee data into this table. We will display employee named with one button on web page. When user click on view button then we can show all employee data display on bootstrap modal by using jQuery Ajax call with PHP. This is my index.php page on this we have add jQuery CT and link for using jQuery code on this web page and we have also add bootstrap CDN CSS and JavaScript link for using bootstrap functionality on this web page. First we want to display employee name on web page with view button, so for this first we make database connection. So for this we have write connect variable is equal to miscly connection function with for argument like host name is equal to local host, user name is equal to root, password is equal to blank and database is equal to testing. This way we can make database connection. After making database connection we have write select query for fetching employee data, so for this we have write query variable is equal to select star from employee table. So our select query is ready. Now we want to execute this query so for this we have write result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string like dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable in which we have store select query. This function will execute query and store result into this result variable. Before print my SQL data and table, first we want to define HTML table, so for this we have define table with attribute class is equal to table and table bordered class. This is bootstrap class and in this table we have define one table row with two table heading. In first heading we have write employee name text and in second table heading we have write view text. In first column we will display employee name and in second column we will display view button. When user click on view button then he can show employee all data in bootstrap modal. Now we want to print employee data so for this we have write while loop with open and close bracket and between bracket we have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with one argument like dollar result variable. This function will convert my SQL query result data into associative array format and we have store that array into this dollar row variable, so we can print array data on web page. For print employee data on table format, so for this we have write open and close table row tag and between this tag we have write to table data tag and in first table data tag we want to print employee name so we have write open and close PHP tag and between this tag we have write echo statement with dollar row variable with table column name which is name. This will print employee name under this table column. In second table column we want to print button for display employee data in bootstrap modal, so for this we have write input type is equal to button, name is equal to view value is equal to view it is equal to open and close PHP tag and between this tag we have write echo statement with row variable with table column it. This will print employee id and store into the sit attribute. So in jQuery code we can get employee id from the sit attribute. 
Then after we have write class is equal to view data, we will use this view data class as selector in query code. Now we have moved to write HTML code for bootstrap modal, so for this first we have write division tag with attribute it is equal to data modal and class is equal to modal and fade. Here modal class identifies the content of this division tag and fade class adds transition effect to bootstrap modal. Then after we have write other division tag with class attribute is equal to modal dialog, this class sets the proper width and margin of the modal. In this division tag we have write one more division tag between this tag with attribute class is equal to modal header. This class is used to define the style of the header of the modal. In this division tag we have defined one button for close bootstrap modal, so for this we have write button type is equal to button class is equal to clothes and data dismiss is equal to modal. With the help of this button we can close bootstrap modal by clicking on this button. For display bootstrap modal title. We have write heading for tag with class is equal to modal title with text employee details. This class display the title of the bootstrap modal. Now we have defined one more division tag with attribute class is equal to modal body and it attribute is equal to employee detail. Here modal body class is used to define the style for the body of the modal and we will display HTML data into this employee detail attribute in query code. Lastly in HTML modal code we have defined division tag with attribute class is equal to modal footer and in this division we have defined one button type is equal to button class is equal to button and button default bootstrap class and data dismiss is equal to model. Here modal footer class is used to define the style for the footer of the modal and by using this button we can close bootstrap modal. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, when user click on button then at that time bootstrap modal must be show, so we have defined view data as class and view button, so we have used view data class as jQuery selector. So we have write dollar with view data class as selector with click event with anonymous function. When user click on view button then bootstrap modal must be show. So for showing bootstrap modal, we have write modal id which is data modal with modal method with slow. This method will load bootstrap modal slow effect and we can display on web page. Now we have check on browser. Friends you can see that employee name and view button and table format and when we have click on view button then after we can show bootstrap modal on web page. Now when user click on any view button then we want to show employee data of that employee who said we have store into view button and data shown in bootstrap modal, so for this we will use ajax call and query code. So for this first we have go to jQuery code and we have to get employee id from view button in which we have store into button attributed. So for this we have write variable employee id is equal to dollar this select with attribute method and in this method we have write id attribute. Here with the help of this selector we can get the id of view button on which user has click and with the help of this attribute method we can fetch value of id attribute and store into this employee id variable. Now we want to write jQuery code for Ajax, so for this we have write dollar dot Ajax method and in this first we have defined first argument URL is set to select dot PHP, here we want to send request to which URL. In second argument is method, here for Ajax request you want to use which method, here we will use post method. In third argument is data. Here you can define which data you want to send to server. Here we want to send employee data sent to the server.
And lastly we have write success callback function. This function will call if we send request succeeds. This function will receive data from server and store that data into a data argument. Now we want the display data which we have received from server on bootstrap models division with an employee detail. So for this we have write dollar with hashtag employee detail as selector dot HTML method with one argument like data. This code will display data which received from server request on modal. Now we want the display bootstrap modal. So for this we have write dollar with modal id which is data modal with modal method with slow argument. This will show bootstrap modal on web page with slow effect. Now we have moved to write select.php page. On this page first we want to check this page has received Ajax request. So for this we have write if statement with condition like set function with one argument dollar post employee a variable which we have received from Ajax request. This condition will check if it received employee a variable then after it execute if block of code. In this block of code first we have defined one out what variable is equal to blank. In this variable we will store MySQL data in HTML format and send this output variable to Ajax function and then after we have make database connection. After making database connection we have one query variable is equal to select start from table employee where it is equal to dollar post employee a variable which we have received from Ajax request. Now we want to execute this query, so for this we have write result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string and in second argument we have pass dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into this result variable. Then after we have defined table into this output variable and then after we have write while loop with open and close bracket and between bracket we have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with one argument. This function will convert my SQL query result into associative array and store into dollar row variable. Now we want to print employee data, so for this we have write output variable with string concatenation operator is equal to open and close table row and between this table row we have defined two table data tag and in first table data tag we have write name and in second table data tag we have write dollar row variable with table column name. Now we have copy this code and paste here and change text from name to address and here we have change table column name name to address. Same way we have again copy this code and paste code here and change text from address to gender and here we have change table column name address to gender. Same way we have again copy this code and paste code here and change text from gender to designation and here we have change table column name gender to designation. And lastly same way we have again copy this code and paste code here and change text from designation to age and here we have change table column name designation to age. This way it will print particular employee data in table format and store into this output variable. Lastly in output variable we have store HTML code for table close and simply write a code statement with variable output. This will print output variable data and user can view this employee data in table format. Now friends our code is ready for how to display dynamic MySQL data on bootstrap modal by using PHP programming with jQuery Ajax. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends we can see that employee data like employee name in table format with view button and when we have click on view button then we can show that employee data in bootstrap modal.
so it is very useful user interface for show data and details without going to other page. We can see the data and detail on that page without going to other page and without refreshing page. This is the power of Bootstrap with jQuery Ajax. We can get detailed information about employee data on page and we do not want to create other new page for displaying data and details. We can use this type of user interface in our we project. It will increase the productivity and working speed of your PHP web application and it is bootstrap so it is responsive so it will be adjust on any device. With help of Ajax call we can fetch particular data from table and display that data on bootstrap modal without page refresh. So friends if you like this video tutorial, please share this tutorial with your friends or even you can also share this video tutorial on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.